In this video, I'm going to show you five super fun watercoloring techniques in Procreate. If you want to make your digital art look like authentic watercolor, then this video is for you. We are going to paint this stack of pebbles together because they are really easy to paint but look stunning with a few cool painting tricks applied to them. The brushes, canvases and color palette for this tutorial are from my watercolor doodles and abstract art set and I will put a link into the description of this video. There is also a tutorial video where you will see how to use the brushes and canvases in much more detail and I recommend you watch that video first if you haven't already. For this project we are going to use the small cold press paper canvas and the IPL watercolor doodles color palette. We will be using quite a few different brushes and you will see each brush name on the screen while I'm using it. Let's start with the dried edge technique first. It's what makes watercolor painting so endearing and unique but it can be a little bit tricky to achieve digitally. So let me show you how to do this in two different ways. The first one is to use a Procreate brush that has this ability. Thanks to the power of Procreate's comprehensive brush studio, it's possible to create brushes that can create this effect. Let's select the shadow texture brush to create our first pebble. Out of the whole set, this brush creates the most prominent dried edge. You want to choose one of the dark colors to see the effect more clearly, like this dark green here. And now let's paint the pebble. The trick is not to lift up your apple pencil until the shape is complete. As long as you keep painting, the brush will extend the dried edge around your shape. You can adjust the size and the shape of your pebble a little bit with the arrow tool. Let's make it a bit smaller and maybe a bit flatter as well. And then with the warp tool, we can make the bottom slightly flatter. Now let's go to the new layer and let's paint another pebble. The color I'm going to use here is this grayish blue color. And then this time you'll want to use that canvas wash brush. So you'll see the difference of the dried edge this brush creates. Because we've chosen a different brush and a lighter color, the edge is a lot more subtle. Let's use the warp tool one more time and adjust that shape slightly. For the next panel, let's use that salt sprinkles brush and the screen color. And don't forget to create a new layer before you start painting. You'll see that this time there is barely any edge. But before I show you how you can change this, let's create another layer and paint our last pebble. Let's use the gouache wash brush and this beautiful golden color. The next step is to check all our shapes and make sure they are nicely stacked on top of each other. You'll see now how handy it is to have them all on different layers because you can go back in and adjust them individually. This is the time to make sure you have the exact shapes you want before you move on to the next step. In order to enhance the edge of this green shape, let's create a new layer just above your green shape and then set the blend mode to overlay. Now we are going to change the color to black and you've got two options of brushes that you can choose for this. You can either use the Doodles Edge brush or you can also use the Blooming Edge brush. Depending on the shape and the color that you've already used, you might get better results with one or the other. So we're going to try the Doodles Edge brush first and now we're just going to trace the edge here. And you can see now how I can paint in a slightly darker edge like this. And it's really easy to do. All you have to do is follow the edge here. And it creates this beautiful dried edge effect. So now let's change the brush. And let's try the blooming edge brush as well. And this is a really cool brush because it creates a lot more of an effect. And you can also paint over the edge a few times to intensify the effect. While this works really well on this green shape here, you might find sometimes, depending on the color that you've used, it might not work. So I'm going to show you another way of doing this. And this time we are going to use our blue shape shape for this and so what you want to do is duplicate this layer three times and then you want to merge the top three layers you can just pinch them like this to merge them now we're going to duplicate this again twice so that you have three shapes again and we are going to merge these again. And the reason why we are doing it is because we want to have a shape that has no transparency so that we can create a selection and then paint inside of the selection that is the same size as our original layer. You don't want to leave the visibility of this layer on so you can check the checkbox here to turn it off. So really all we've created this layer for is in order to create a selection that we can paint. So you tap on the layer thumbnail, then tap on select and now this creates a selection of that shape that we can paint into. 
create a new layer and this time you can just leave the blend mode normal and then choose a slightly darker color than the original color that you've used when you've painted this layer so you can just move your color swatch down a little bit to choose a darker color and then this time we're going to use that doodles edge brush again and now the same way like we've done it before you can paint in your edge and because you've chosen the exact color that you want you can now much more precisely control the edge that you are creating if you find that this is a little bit too intense then of course you can decrease the opacity and so this creates an even more natural look but because we already have a nice edge on this shape i'm actually going to delete this again i just wanted to show you another technique and because we've got the selection of this pebble here already let's move on to the next technique and that is how to create a color blend this is another characteristic of watercolors that it creates the most beautiful blend if the colors flow into each other with the help of the water make sure that you've still got your solid shape here selected Create the new layer and then let's choose this dark color here and start painting in some different colors. And for this, you might want to use one of the overlay brushes. I really like using the alcohol ink overlay brush for this. The brush size is 20% and now you can just paint in your dark colors here and you can already see how the colors blend really nicely with the background as well. So now let's choose the light gold color here and paint in some gold and then we can also paint in some darker gold and create a little bit of a golden gradient here on the side with the three different gold colors so now this already looks really really nice but we can improve that blend a little bit more we're going to change to the smudge tool and the brush you want to use with that smudge tool is the wet water blend brush this is probably my favorite brush out of the whole set because it creates the most beautiful blends i've got the brush size set to around 20 and now we can start blending the colors you don't want to use too much pressure here only light pressure will do a very nice job of very softly blending these colors together and because we've still got the selection on it's really easy to blend the colors without spilling over into the outside of your pebble so now let's do that same thing with our green pebble here and we're going to do the same thing we're going to duplicate this layer three times merge it together and then duplicate it three times again and merge it turn the visibility off and then tap on the layer thumbnail to select the shape and i actually want to change the color of this pebble altogether so i'm going to start with that dark green here and this time i'm going to choose the intense texture overlay brush to paint in some extra texture as well and you can see now how this brush really creates these beautiful textures and blends in really nicely with the background i'm going to change the color and select this blue gray color here and then paint this over the top and then select the lightest blue gray color here and add this here at the top for some highlights So now because we've got this really nice texture here, you don't want to go in with your wet water blend brush to blend it because then you'll lose the texture. But what you want to do instead is use that texture blend brush. And so now if you start blending here, it preserves that texture somewhat and creates a much nicer blend for these colors. But I don't want to blend it too much because I think this looks really good now. All right, and then let's add some color to our golden people here as well. And again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to duplicate that layer three times and do it again turn the visibility off and then select this layer create a new layer and now we can color in the bottom of this shape a little bit and here i want to add some of the dark gold to create a shadow and the brush i'm going to use for this is the ipel cloud texture overlay brush and the size i'm going to use here again is 20 percent and so now i'm just going to add in some shadows here at the bottom and then maybe we can add some highlights at the top as well using the lightest gold color and if you find this is still too dark you can also select white and then just add just a tiny bit of white here at the top so now this looks really nice already but you see here that the edges of these two shapes they look a little bit 
man made and they don't really look like they are flowing into each other and this is what we're going to fix with that next technique i want to show you how we can create some blooms so now we want to merge the color layer and our our original pebble layer so we're going to move the colored shape just above your original shape and then choose merge down and now we have just one shape and in order to put the bloom we're going to extend this shape into the next shape a little bit and to start with we're going to select the darkest golden color and then select the flow state brush and so initially all you want to do is press down with that flow state brush a little bit you don't have to press too hard just a little bit like this and then we're going to switch to the smudging tool and you want to select that blooming edge brush for this i've set the size to 10 percent now what you want to do is drag that colors out to create even more of a bloom effect like this you need to press down reasonably hard to do this and be a little bit patient but this really creates a super nice realistic bloom effect you can also just draw this in like this and then you can also move it backwards to remove some color if you find it a little bit too intense to create this really nice effect and then we're going to do the same at the top here just to even it out a little bit and make it nice and subtle another really nice blooming technique is what happens when you add salt to your watercolors it creates this really nice salty texture and you'll see that that shape here has a little bit of an edge so it really lends itself to add some salty texture in this area and in order to do that we are going to create a new layer above our dark green pebble here and we're going to select the dark green color and then we are going to select that blooming edge brush to paint in the edge first and so now you can paint this in here maybe when you painted your pebble you've got a line somewhere different so definitely feel free to choose the line wherever you like this creates this really nice edge here in the middle of our pebble and then the inside of the salty texture normally is quite a lot lighter so what we're going to do again is create a selection of our shape and because this shape is quite dark already you don't actually need to do the duplicating layer streak all you have to do now is select the shape and then create a new layer and now we can paint in some highlights and I'm going to choose that lightest blue gray color here and paint in the highlights with the flow state brush. And then we're going to smudge this out. This time I'm going to use the wet water blend brush to blend this color in. And this looks quite nice already so now let's duplicate this layer to intensify the effect a little bit and merge the two layer together and then we want to bring out the edge here a little bit this is a little bit covered now so now we're going to decrease that size of our wet water blend brush to around about six percent and then you can push in the edge ever so slightly to bring back your dried edge and that looks really nice now now we've got the pebbles we've got the colors but it still doesn't pop so what can we do about this and this brings me to the next fun technique which is to create textured overlays and again there's two different ways of how you can do this you can either use the blend mode overlay technique or you can use the selection technique and i'm going to show you both so first up i want to improve this shape here a little bit and in order to do that i'm going to create a new layer directly above this layer and then set the blend mode to overlay and then select that black color and this time i'm going to select the salty texture overlay brush and now we can start painting in some shadows here and you'll see how this really makes a big difference the salty texture overlay brush also creates these really cool light and dark sprinkles here and it just adds extra character to your painting so it's a really cool brush to use it's a little bit intense here so what we can do now is use the smudge tool with that wet water blend brush and then we can just remove some of the texture and blend it in a little bit nicer you might lose some of your spots a little bit and if you want to add them back in that's what we've got that random splatters brush here for so you can add these in at the end and now i want to do the same thing for the other shapes as well if you don't want to create a new layer for all your shapes you can actually also create the layer at the top of your layer stack set the blend mode to overlay and now whatever you paint on this layer is going to affect all the layers below so you can start here 
adding your dark splatters here and then even here at the bottom as well if you'd like to do that. Another thing you can do is add highlights and you can do this on the same layer with blend mode overlay but I actually recommend that you create a new layer, change the blend mode to overlay and then keep your colors separate. So now we can go in with white and we can add some highlights. And this is a really nice technique as well. So you don't get rid of the cool texture that the brush created, but you can actually enhance it a little bit and create some of these highlights. And before I show the last techniques, let's also add some blooms to these shapes here so that they flow into each other a little bit nicer. And in order to do that, select the corresponding shape and then we're going to do the same thing that we've done before. We're going to start with that flow state brush to add in some of the start of the blooms. And then we're going to change to that blooming edge brush with that smudging tool to smudge this out. And definitely don't forget that you can smudge in two directions. You can pull the color out, but you can also push it back. And so this now creates a really, really nice effect. And then if you find that it's a little bit too dark there, you can always go in with a lighter color and with one of the overlay brushes and add in a little bit of a lighter color. And then we're going to do the same thing with our last pebble here as well. I've noticed that the colors have become quite intense now. So what you can do if you don't like it, you can change the opacity here a little bit. So if I just take the opacity down to around 70%, you can see how the colors look a lot more natural now. So let's leave it at this and then let's merge the color layer with the original layer. So I'm going to drag it just above the original layer and then merge it down. And you only want to merge the layers together once you're really happy with what it looks like. So now we're going to extend our bloom here a little bit and again selecting the dark green color and the flow state brush to start our blooms and then with the smudge tool and the blooming edge brush we can now drag this out a little bit and create this nice blooming effect and then last but certainly not least let's create a small gold ribbon on the side of our pebble and in order to do that you want to create a new layer and then we're going to use that freehand selection tool for this and now we're going to draw in that shape of our ribbon and the nice thing about this tool is that you can stop so you don't have to draw the whole shape in one go you can even turn the ipad around and then you can just carry on with the selection and then close it up at the end like this so now this is looking good and the brush we are going to use for this is that dry sponge overlay brush and you want to choose that middle gold color here and so now you might think that your selection has been deleted but it's actually still there you can see all that zebra lines it's just a little bit hard to see here in the green where that exactly is but because you can't paint outside of your selection it doesn't matter too much so you can just start painting and very soon you will realize where the selection is and you can see that it becomes a little bit orange here and the reason for this is because we've got our blend mode overlay and it's got some black on it so the gold is actually mixing with the black and creates this red color we can adjust this later so really for now we just want to paint in the gold and you can be quite generous with how much color you put on you want to make sure that most of your edges are covered but then if it's got some spaces in the middle that's actually really nice and that's going to make the gold stand out more so this looks very nice now before we carry on i want to get rid of this overlay here a little bit so we're going to go to our top layer which is most likely where this is. And in order to check, you can turn off the visibility and you can turn the visibility back on. And yes, this is exactly the layer where we have this. And so now you can use that smudging tool with the wet water blend brush. And then you can push down your overlay like this, just to get it out of the way of our golden ribbon here. And you can still keep it on the rest of your shape like this. So now this is looking much better. So we're gonna go back to our ribbon layer and we are going to duplicate this. And then we want to fill the bottom layer with black. And the easiest way to do that, I find, is to swipe right to invoke alpha mode and then select black. And then you can fill this layer with black. And so now you can see how the colors have muddied quite a lot, but it's not a problem. What we're going to do now to fix this is we're going to select our golden layer and we're going to change the blend mode to add. And so now this brings back the original color that we had. Then go ahead, select your black layer again. And this is now where the trick comes in. So you're going to select the arrow tool and then change your layer to freeform mode. And so now we're going to notch this black layer one pixel to the right and one pixel down. And the easiest way to do that is you just tap once. Next to this blue dot here, you just tap once here. And you can see now it's shifted the layer by one pixel and you can already see how the colors come out much nicer 
And so now we're going to tap at the bottom here as well to shift it one pixel down. And now it's created this illusion as if this layer is standing out and it's actually been painted with gold. Isn't that super cool? But we can make it even nicer. So now what we're going to do next is create another layer just above your golden layer. And then we're going to change that blend mode to add again. Now go back to your golden layer and select that shape. So tap on the layer thumbnail, tap on select and then on the new layer we can paint in another layer of gold on top of the existing one and you want to choose that lighter gold color for this and then the dry sponge overlay brush and now we can paint in some highlights to this layer to really make this gold stand out more and so now this creates the illusion of little light reflections in the gold and just makes it look really nice and beautiful and then to finish up our pebbles, I thought it would be nice to add some little doodles here as well. For the bottom one, I thought it would be cute just to add some little dots. So I'm going to create a new layer and I'm choosing the white color. And I'm going to select that water shape brush for this. So now we can just make little dots here. then let's paint some lines on the other shapes as well again make sure you create the new layer first and the brush you want to use for this is the doodles organic brush if you find the white lines a little bit too intense open the layers panel and change the blend mode of this layer to soft light and this blends the white color nicely with the background and then for the next people i thought it would be cute to make some little rainbows and for our golden shape we're just going to paint some more lines like this and then to top everything up we're going to create a little shadow here at the bottom so at the very bottom here we're going to create a new layer and then we're going to select that light water brush for this and just paint in that shadow you only want to create a very light shadow but this is really nice because this is very very subtle brush and paints in this really nice sort of light shadow if you want to make it a bit more intense can just paint over it and then of course we're going to use our wet water blend brush to smoothen this out and of course there's many ways of how you can create this shadow just wanted to show you this method so that you have another technique in your toolkit to create beautiful watercolor art and there you have it i really hope you've enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and then i'm also going to pop up another couple of videos so you can keep watching and you can keep learning thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video